Hi designers, welcome back for part two. If you're just finding this video, please head back to part one. That's where I'll show you how to create these pieces and parts in Adobe Illustrator that we will now be taking into Adobe Dimension and putting it all together. Now I'm opening up a new file in Adobe Dimension. And the first thing I always do is come to this zoom panel and click 100%. I like to work with a larger canvas. I always need a large high res rendering. So I bring my width to about 2000 pixels wide and then whatever height I need to fit my shape the best. I'll also come over to the resolution panel and click on 300 so that it's a really nice high quality rendering. Again, low quality is great if you just need a basic concept, but I always like to have a high res one. So now we'll just start assembling our object. I'm going to use my orbit tool to swing around. I like having the horizon lines parallel with my frame so that I have better camera views and I can use these tools a little bit better to straighten things up. And selecting the mug, I can also click on this down arrow which grounds it in space. And I'll bring in the mug handle next, rotating that 90 degrees and lining it up. I'll have to check my reference material to see an eyeball about where it belongs. But I think whoop. using the align tools, this is the handle, we can select both of these and come to align tools and make sure that we have these centered on this axis. Then I can highlight my handle and I can drag it in until it merges with the mug. I think I'm going to keep the mug white, even though the reference was black. This is where the like fun, creative design elements come in. Now that I have my shapes, I can imagine the colors however I want. And now I'll play with some of the standard materials. So we could bring in either the matte finish or a plastic finish. I'm going to scroll down and just see what looks good for me. I think that one's good, but I will bring in the lighting. So let me bring in a three point light. And here I'm going to bring the intensity way down because it is a white object on a white background. Sometimes that bright light can be a little intense as it is coming to the environment light and bringing that intensity down. You can also rotate it. I want to bring down the shadows. And this is a fun part where you can really experiment with shadow opacity, with the moodiness of a scene um, to give the effect that you're looking for. So now that I have the lighting how I like it, I can start to drag in the graphics. So I have my PNG and I simply drag and drop it over top and then position it, resizing it, holding shift to make sure that all of the proportions are constrained. And then I can save camera bookmarks. So this would be like the front view. I could also do one that's maybe above. And then all of these camera bookmarks will be saved when I go to my render panel and I can just click and it'll batch render a bunch of different angles for me. We can also do more of like a hero shot. And then if I wanted to get crazy with this graphic, I could also select it and add a metallic shine to it. And that gives it just like a fancier kind of look. I still think the lighting's a little intense, so I'm going to come back to the environment and just kind of, again, tweak things until it showcases the design in the best way possible. So once you have everything ready, completed, you're happy with all of your compositions, you can click over to this render tab and that's where these camera bookmarks come in and you can select all of them, um, choose where you want to save your files and then click render and let it do its thing. All right, designers, that wraps up this mock-up. I hope you enjoyed it and found it really helpful. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. If you run into any questions or if you have suggestions for what you wanna see next, leave those in the comments below. 
And like I said in part one, I will be launching more exclusive content with other great bonuses on my Patreon starting June 1st. So join that waitlist and be the first to know when that drops. Thanks again for watching and until next time.